So another new segment here at hashtag 15 euros, Wayne's World for the end of the world, we've got a lot of them, is what we call going to the movies with Wayne's World for the end of the world. There's a lot of great uh, future dystopian sci-fi movies that we have a fascination about. Because, again, it's not about whether we think the world is going to end in 15 years or not. It's about how do we treat each other, how do we treat each other individually as a society and on the planet in whatever time we have left. And there are a lot of great movies that have come out in the last 20, 30 years that try to examine these issues from a really uh, creative place that nobody would think is necessarily predictive. But on the other hand, a lot of it's very realistic. To me, the British, the UK, I don't know why, but they have the best. There's, there's uh, Brazil, 1984, Brave New World, A Clockwork Orange, and on and on. Fahrenheit 451, one of my favorites. But I have to say, two of my favorites that a lot of people maybe don't know, uh, most recently, Children of Men, which is spectacular. Julianne Moore is great in that. Clive Owen, who I don't normally think is that great of an actor. He's spectacular. And there's like, you know, a very thin read of hope at the end of it. But maybe my favorite that a lot of people haven't heard of is Perfect Sense with Ewan McGregor, who's spectacular, and Eva Green, who is phenomenal. And it's set in Glasgow, and I don't want to give too much away, but what I love about it is everyone dies. It's the end of humanity on, on the planet, but it happens with love and respect for each other and for what's important. And that's probably what we're going to be faced with maybe sooner rather than later, sooner than a lot of us would like. So anyway, that's my own little take. And again, I could go through and I probably will do more, especially from a British perspective. Uh, but we're going to do others uh, uh, that are uh, future dystopian movies. They don't have to be British. I just think that there's the top 10 or so. A lot of them are from uh, the UK. And we really want you to participate. Tell us what you think. Do us, you know, a little bit of a favor. Send us a two or three minute video about what you think are your fa uh, favorite uh, future dystopian movies from the UK or otherwise. And how do they help you deal with your feelings about the potential that we may not be around a whole lot longer than now? Thanks a bunch. Do us uh, whatever you can.